In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can bulk create designs on Canva and then have a ton of these designs that you can share on Instagram, Pinterest, wherever you want. It's gonna save you a huge amount of time and it's super, super simple. So we're over here at Canva and just to demonstrate this, I've typed in Pinterest and I wanna choose one of these templates. Now, of course, you can choose any template that you want related to the kind of industry that you're in. But to keep things nice and simple, we'll click on this one. So let's click on this and we'll click on customize this template. Now for this particular template, I'm actually going to delete that bit there and I'm going to delete that bit there. So the first thing that I want to do is I need to get some text for this. So I've gone over to ChatGPT before I started shooting this video and I asked for five short motivational quotes. So we've got these quotes here that we're gonna use. Then I've come over here to Google Sheets and I've created a brand new Google Sheet. And in the first row, I've just said quote, and then I have quote one, two, three, four, and five from ChatGPT. Here I want to click on file, download, and I want to download a CSV file. So we're gonna click on download and that's gonna download. You can see it's downloaded up there. We've now come back to Canva. Now the first thing I wanna do is change this font. It doesn't look very nice to me. So first of all, I wanna click up here and choose one of the fonts that I like. I like this font here, so I'm gonna choose this. We can make it a little bit bigger, we can make it bold. Get a font that you like and make it the right size. Now when I say the right size, if you have a lot of text, so in our case, if our quotes are quite long, you wanna make sure that this is not too big, otherwise it will go over the white space. But it's just a case of playing around with it and getting used to it. Now we're gonna go down to apps and just scroll down until you find bulk create. So we'll click on bulk create and we've got two choices. Now we can enter the data manually or upload a CSV. We've got a CSV, so we'll click on that, choose the CSV and hit open, and it pulls in the quote here. Now from this section here, let's just click off, and click back in and you'll get these three dots. Click once, come down to connect data, choose quotes, click once, click continue, and select all, you wanna make sure they're all selected, and then you're gonna click generate five designs. In this case, if you had six quotes, it would be six designs. And now we have quotes, quotes, Obviously this one we're gonna to need to edit. So again, what we'll need to do here in this case is play around with this so it just makes sense. Again, this is where we need to make sure that we've got the font size correct. Let's just stretch that one out, that looks okay. This is okay, this is okay. So now we've got all of these images here. Now, if you wanted to, you could, before doing all of this, you could change the coloring. So if you wanna click on this and make it fit your brand, you can. If you wanted to click on the background image or cho choose a different design, you could. But now we have these images. We're now going to put MQ for multi motivational quotes and I'll put pins, then I'll hit share. I will then hit download and I want to make sure that I'm downloading all the pages, which is five different files, and then download them. And now I have five unique images that I could potentially share on Pinterest or on Instagram or anywhere else that I wanted. And it was much easier to create than doing them one by one. So play around, make sure that you choose a template that you like, choose a font that you like. It's a super simple process and it's gonna save you a bunch of time. Now, if you wanna know how to get all of these pins that, that you could potentially create, because you could create, you know, hundreds of these in a day and then schedule them to be uploaded. I'll share that in a video that appears to the top right now. Other than that, thanks for watching. Let me know if you've got questions and I'll see you soon.